Brand new Total Rush players are out in draft. Can we get one? And can we get a new world record? What are you saying everyone? ADR here. Today we are doing a foot draft challenge, trying to get the highest rated team possible. And today we are going to be starting with the 3-4-1-2 formation. As you saw in the intro, we've got rush cards available. We will take 89 rated Ginola as our captain. And guys, let me know in the comments how many rush cards we end up getting. Hopefully we can get a few and we shall see how it goes. Now, I'm going to try and stay within a league. That's the best way to get chemistry. So I went with Muniz there. We will also take Havertz here. Keep with the Prem theme. In fact, do we take Havertz? He's got a way high rated card, doesn't he? Yeah, let's, let's leave Havertz actually. We'll take Morata. Our cam is going to be, there you go, that is the big Havertz card we were talking about. However, we do get 90 rated Dybala, and I said we don't want to be in too many different leagues, but he is 90 rated, and he will eventually get chemistry to Morata. Centre-back number one. Do we go Tarkovsky for the Prem Chem, or do we go Kimpembe for rating? I think we go Tarkovsky. Center back number two is well, Buchanan's the highest rated, but for chemistry, we will take Kanate. And our third center back is going to be very good, gets great chemistry with Kanate. It is 91 rated Virgil van Dyke. Now, no total rush players just as yet. We get Benton Core for the Prem chemistry, definitely don't mind it. We are going to need some more Saray players if we are to complete the chem. Wow, we get 89 rated Valverde. He gets that Uruguayan link with somebody, with Bentancourt actually. And he can play right mid as well. We could take Williams or Guti here. But for rating, we will go with Fede Valverde. We'll have to sort it out a bit later. And then here, we get Baltimore. She does get the French chem. But not much else. If we go Kudus, we're just that step closer to full Premier League chemistry. So we'll take him. And then in goal, it is going to be 84 rated Vicario. So we're 22 chemistry, 86 rated. With the total rush players in draft, 120, which is what we're aiming to get, should be pretty easy. I say, I say that. But it's going to be a tricky one with chemistry as well. Now... Could take Yuri and Tim, but doesn't really help. Uh, so I'm going to go with Rating actually and take Jesus Navas. Next pick is going to be... We get our first Total Rush player. Unfortunately, doesn't fit the formation. We may take him though. 84 rated. Juranovic. Let's have a look at the card. Is there anything special? Not really. To be fair, I've got some decent chem styles, but no, nothing special about that card. But he is the highest rated, so we will take him. So first total rush player. Don't forget to keep account of how many we get in today's draft attempts. Uh, I'll take Eze for the chemistry. Dabala goes on to the bench. We next get, now we could take Kamavinga. Definitely would help with Valverde's chemistry. Or we could take Rodman for rating. I think we take Rodman for rating. I think if we try and get too many La Liga players, we'll end up getting confused with the chemistry. Here, Xavi Simmons just being highest rated. Should we take him? Do we take Sanchez because we need a new striker? I think, I think we do take Sanchez. We play him in at striker. Oh, to be fair, we had Janola who can play. He can play in a different position as well. Okay, that's fine. If we get a La Liga hero, we've got full chemistry. We do get a La Liga hero in Cap de Villa, but he doesn't have left mid, unfortunately. Next best option, I guess, is Rui Costa. And you know what? He is highest rated and he'll actually help out the team for chemistry as well. So what we can do is bring back Dybala. I thought that might help us get to, to full chem. If we start Morata here, maybe not. We'll put Kudus back in. 
at right mid. We're up to 28 chemistry. 85 rated. On to our reserves. We start off with 91 rated Vinicius. Now I do reckon I should have taken Kamavinga. But I wasn't to know we were going to get Vinny. Does mean we can start Valverde again. And I think it actually makes sense to start Muniz as well. In that striker. Now looking at the team, we need a La Liga manager. And then someone to get chemistry to Tarkovsky. And do you know what? We have Eze on the bench. So he might be able to, to do that if I just swap him with Rui Costa maybe. Okay, so yeah, it's just the La Liga manager now to get us to full chemistry. Three picks remaining. Maybe we'll get a La Liga player that will help us to do the same. We'll take Zobojlai here. Just about fits onto the bench. We can't afford... Oh, we can afford to start Vicario. That's quite, that's quite nice. Next pick is going to be Adama Traore. Malassia doesn't fit. W Wissa doesn't really fit either. We'll take Traore. And our last pick is going to be... Oof, doesn't really matter. So the question is, can we get full chemistry? And I think we can. I'm just going to go for the La Liga manager and hope that that's enough to get the chemistry we get a la liga manager we get two la liga managers surprisingly though we are only 85 rated we're starting off this video with a 118 let's get into the next draft attempt so into draft attempt number two we're going to take the 3421 formation this time we are going to start off with i mean the is the highest rated alongside Wrighton, but I'm going to start with Zé Roberto, one rating lower, but gets good chemistry, Brazil links and Bundesliga links. We will take Quigo there, not the best for chemistry or rating, but 89 rated Abedi Pele is very good. We can play him in at left mid, move Zé Roberto around a bit as well. We also get 88 rated Pop, which is very nice for the rating. No idea how she gets chemistry. But we will take it. Centre mid. Ooh, that's how she gets chemistry. Perfect link with Hagel. Goes into the team there. Second centre mid isn't so great. We get Jurian Timber or Ward Prowse. I'm going to go with Ward Prowse. Right mid. Ooh, okay. This is going to be a bit difficult for chemistry. The way it's looking. Orsolini is the highest rated. So I think we'll just take him. But hopefully we can get some big centre backs. That will also help out with chemistry. Now Kim Min Jae is highest rated. We could take Ericsson as well. But I really doubt she's going to get chemistry. Um, Kim Min Jae gets the hero link. And South Korea. Unless we get like a Son. He's not really going to be on full chemistry. But because it's a highest rated draft. We are going to take him. Next pick is... Do we take Ito here? Ito is probably the best for chemistry. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's quite an easy choice. We'll take Ito. And then our third centre-back is going to be, what, Diego Carlos, maybe? Gets the Brazil link. Potential Prem Chem links as well. I think that's what we have to do. This is not the best start to a draft, I'll be honest. And in goal, we get Pepe Reina. Or, I mean, I guess we'll just take take rate in here. So we're only 84 rated with 17 chem. We're going to have to do a lot to pull this one back. Now, here's an interesting choice because we get a Gaza, who is the highest rated, but offers nothing for chemistry. Whereas Leno at least offers a, us a little bit of chem with, I guess, the potential German links and then the Prem chem as well. Next pick is, well, 88 rated Frimpong, need I say any more, goes in and right mid, gets plus four to the chemistry as well, which is good. And it's a nice upgrade on the team. We also get Nashan Veng, who doesn't have left mid. She really should have left mid. That's really annoying. We could take, I was going to say we could take Charles, but realistically we can't. 
Inigo Martinez, I don't think helps. Lewis Dunk. Lewis Dunk gets us, I think, a plus one to chemistry. Uh, with only a minus one to the rating. Next pick is going to be... Oh, Kingsley Coman's really good. Both for chemistry and for rating. We take him. I guess we take out like a Ward Prowse or something like that. Then Zé Roberto goes into that centre mid position. So the Bundesliga players are on full chemistry. We just need to sort out the Premier League players now. And it's taken a little while to load. Guys, are you subscribed to more ADR? If you're not, be sure to check it out. It's my second channel. Next up, we get... So we get the 87 rated Dybala. Not going to help for chemistry at all. Modric, again, not going to help for chemistry. I, I say we go with the hero here. Even though he's two ratings lower, he does get us plus three to the chemistry. Next up, it's going to be Gabby Martinelli for rating. 83 rated. I don't think we're going to try and start him. Even though he might come in handy, actually, now I think about it, for the Premier League chemistry. Mm, I'm going to take Hamsik here. Serie hero. We don't really have Serie players, but because he's a hero, it does work. Can play in at centre mid. So what I'm thinking right now is to play Diego Carlos back in at centre back and then play Martinelli at left mid. Hamsik at the moment is probably going to replace Noor and Noor is going to stay on the bench. I think that works. Next pick is going to be I feel like we just go with rating here. Nothing really helps us out. Cash. Oh, Cash has right mid. Now, if we play Matty Cash in at right mid, that would get us a lot closer to full chemistry. But he's too low rated. So we'll take Weir. We need a Premier League hero, to be honest. Um, Henderson. Do you think Henderson could end up a Premier League hero? I hope not. <laughs> Shout out to him, but uh, yeah, he's not really that good, is he? Next pick is going to be 89 rated Florian Verts. Cole Palmer, 86 rated, is here as well. We're going to go with Verts. He's got left mid. We take him and we play him. We are struggling for chemistry on this one. I'm kind of just hoping that rating is going to be half decent. Um, not really the best players to choose from. And the last pick is going to be, I'm actually going to take her because she will end up getting us to basically full chemistry. So would you look at that? Just need a better goalkeeper. And I don't think we can actually get a goalkeeper that's going to get us to full chem, unfortunately. So we are looking at once all the high rated players are on the bench. Does it go up to 86? It does not go up to 86. So another 85 rated draft. Um, our manager is not going to help. Let's get into the next draft attempt. Okay, so into draft number three. Let's go with the 4-2-4 formation this time. Hopefully we can get some rush players. We haven't seen many. Uh, we'll start off with Joe Cole as our captain. 87 rated. Gets the Premier League chemistry as well, which is usually a really good thing. Gakpo is higher rated than Nunes. I've just noticed that, guys. What do you think about that? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Comment Gakpo or Nunez so that we know which one you think is better. EA have gone with Gakpo, so we're going to go with Gakpo. We get an ex-Premier League player in 91 rated Harry Kane. Highest rated by some margin, so we won't hesitate to take him. Left wing is Jack Grealish. Now, he gets that England link with Kane which is really nice for chemistry. We are going to need a Bundesliga player slash team slash something that helps us. But for now, for the sake of one rating, we will go with Curtis Jones. Goes in and gets full chemistry. And then, oh yes, we get the new rush player. 91 rated Kevin De Bruyne. Has playmaker plus plus as his role. Four star, five star. 91 rated. He's got 95 passing, guys. Those passing stats are incredible. That is actually ridiculous. Wow. What a card that is. 
we are obviously going to take him. Goes into the team. I think the 4-2-4 might be the best formation for the draft. Now, in terms of chemistry, Matty Cash makes the most sense. So, for again, for the sake of one rating, we will take Matty Cash. And then... Ooh. Now, if we were playing the draft, Bissek would be probably the best option. Uh, but we're not playing the draft. Chemistry-wise, I actually don't see much that helps for chemistry. So, you know what, let's just take Bissek here. Second centre-back. Hopefully, is going to be better. We get Senesi, who, with those Prem links, will be the best player to get. A bit worried about Harry Kane's chemistry, because at the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to get it. I mean, go... go Guerrero, oh my days. I mean, Guerrero helps a lot. DeMarco gets the club link with Bissek. However, for rating, we are going to have to go with Teo Hernandez. We can't pass up on an 88 rated card. And then in goal, I mean, Burger is here, but we don't want a Burger. So we are going to have Pickford or Raya. Both get full chemistry. For Kane's chemistry, I think we'll take Pickford for the, the extra England link. Next up is... Oh, well, we get Raya again. I'm going to go with Gaza for rating. 84 rated. Next up is going to be 86 rated Malo Gusto. Very good card, by the way, if you have if you haven't played with him. Uh, goes in, gets that French link with Teo Hernandez, which is very nice. We get yet another... Rush player, total rush player in Svava. Let me know if I pronounced that right in the comments. Koshk is here as well. Bologna player doesn't really come into the team. So I'm going to go with Svava and we will keep going. We next get Cold Palmer and I think you already know that we are going to take him. I'm not sure he's going to fit into the team though. Oh, uh, we could play Grealish, or take out Grealish, sorry, and then put in Cole Palmer. That does work. Next up is going to be, we don't really need Billing, but we could take him. We don't need Winks, but we could take him. Uh, I'm going to take Dorley here for the rating. No chance he gets chemistry, but he was the highest rated out of the selection of players. Uh, we'll go with Iago Aspas here as well. Again for rating. Next up is going to be Berardi. We're going to struggle for chemistry, aren't we? David Neres is here. Not really going to help. We'll go Berardi for rating. On to our reserves. And it hasn't really improved much, has it? We get Lindstrom. I guess we take... Uh, you know what? I'm going to take Chief here. In case we can get enough England players for Kane's chemistry, then that works. Now here, I guess we go with Ben White. Yeah, we do go with Ben White. I don't think it's a, a guessing game, really. He goes in at centre-back, gets us plus three to the chemistry. I think that's a no-brainer. We're actually only two England links away from Harry Kane being on full chem. We could get like a left-back from the Prem. We get Madison. He doesn't fit the formation. Avili Pele doesn't fit the formation either. Ona Batye is here. Can play left back, but she's not going to get chem. Rodrigo's there. Again, not going to get chem. I, I guess we go with Ray in here. Take a Betty Pele. At least put him on the bench. We're still 85 rated. Only two picks remain. Can we get to 86? Not by the looks of it. Uh, oof, this isn't great. Kepa... I'm going to take a Robin. We won't, we won't call him by his uh, surname. And last pick is going to be Bisuma. So I don't know how to feel about that draft. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, there's a couple non-rare players. Not the best. But we did get 91 rated Kevin De Bruyne. We'll take our manager. And we will get into the next draft attempt. Yeah, believe it or not, guys, we are doing four draft attempts today. And we will go with what formation? The 4 5 1 attack? Yeah, let's go with the 4 5 1 attack. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video so far, 
be sure to leave a like. We're going to start off with 91 rated Kylian Mbappe as our captain. Cam is going to be weird. She gets the Real Madrid link, which is amazing. Second Cam is going to be in Kunku, gets the French link. So I'm going to stick to La Liga Premier League and we're hopefully going to get full chemistry and a world record. Our left mid, I say, as I say we're going to stick to La Liga Premier League, is going to be the four. And the reason I'm taking her, not only is she the highest rated, but there's loads of high rated French cards in the game. So, as you can see, I'm not too worried about her chemistry. Now, right mid, um, do we keep on with the French theme? I think we do. We'll take Honoré. Probably butchered that pronunciation. Right back is Mykon, very nice, 88 rated. We'd like to see a few more rush cards in this draft. As, ooh, okay. Now we have a bit of a decision to make. I think we just go rating right here because it's not the best choice of players for chemistry. So I'm going to go with Janssen. It's maybe Man United bias there, but that is fine. Second centre back, we get Elest again, but. As you probably have guessed it, we are going with Benjamin Pavard for the French chemistry. Left back. Ooh, okay, left back. A little decision to be made. Maybe we take Paula Tomas. Maybe we take Diego Rico. Uh, or maybe we take Emerson. Not the best choice, honestly. I'll, I guess we'll go with... Well, Gossens gets some chem. I'm going to go with Paula Tomas for... I couldn't tell you the reason I went with her. There's a bit of a shot in the dark there. And I will take Esther here, who gets good chemistry. So we're 84 rated with 23 chem. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of October. So please hit that subscribe button and help us to get there. Now, in terms of our keeper, Donnarumma is quite obviously the highest rated but doesn't offer us anything for chemistry Endless next she doesn't get chem she would get close to getting chem with the default link so for that reason he is two ratings lower but we're going to go with campus and even taking him we lose chem so maybe not the best decision but we now get 88 rated jeremy frimpong as well as a chirby and or maybe if i took donor i don't know ajabi is the smart choice for chemistry and for that reason i'm going to pass up on the frimpong because we don't really stand a chance at getting him chemistry so we do that plus two to the chem next pick is going to be okay Juranovic is highest rated can play left back as well not that it's gonna help gaia no vasquez no, okay, Vasquez isn't going to help. We'll, we'll take Juranovic. We'll keep it moving. Next pick is... Ooh, Z Roberto. Now, he's got left back, doesn't he? He does. So, taking Z Roberto, automatically a plus three to the chemistry. I think that's probably where it stops, but... You can play in a few different positions. Most of the ways here, in case we need La Liga chem. Which we don't. No, so, I'm going to go with Z Roberto here. Guys, let me know in the comments if you would have done anything differently. That does take us up to 28 chemistry, which is nice. Um, the four of chem, we're of chem, a Cherby of chem. Just needs a Serie player though. Next pick is... Do we go with... Okay, we don't go with the centre mid. Do we go with the cam, perhaps? We'll take, we'll take her. We now get Danny Olmo, who can play Camel centre mid. Well, Yarazabal is here as well. I think I'm going to go with Danny Olmo. Potentially could play him in at Cam. It might get us a little bit more chemistry. We get Lamine Yamal as well, who would get that perfect link with Danny Olmo. Which is really good. Um, okay. I think we'll take Lamine. 
we are a little bit all over the place in terms of chemistry but i feel like we can sort it out eventually i think a serie like cam or left mid would do the trick we now get pedro neto we also get diego lopez for chemistry diego lopez probably makes a lot of sense I think he makes the most sense because what I'm going to do now, maybe we should have taken Pedro Neto for Nkunku's chemistry, but then Neto himself, I don't think would have got chem. Why did I think that was going to catapult the chemistry? That is not great. That does catapult the chemistry, but the rating is suffering. Yeah, this last draft, I don't know. We're going to need a lot from these last four picks. Let's see who we get. We get Kavarat Skelia as the highest rated. We get Darmian. Darmian's probably really nice for chemistry. We also get Dali and we get Diaby. Interesting. Very interesting picks here, actually, because I think taking Dali is going to get us the full chemistry. So, putting Dali in at cam, Zeroberto in at left mid. And then Paula Tomas there. Why on earth did I think it was going to get us the full chemistry? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Mistakes were made. I thought we had enough French chem to do it, but I guess not. Next up, I, I don't know. We, I feel like we're kind of in the mud. So we'll take her. <laughs> um, two picks left. Do we get any big players? We get Ezra. We get... We get Ezra. Nothing else really helps. And then our last pick is going to be... We'll take Gabby Martinelli. So this draft ended up all over the place. Let me know in the comments if you think there's a way for us to get full chemistry on it. I am going to leave it at that. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll catch you again in the next episode.